Hello everyone, I'm Zishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive YouTube channel, your own training institute. So today we are going through our new node which is known as Quad Transform. Also, we will look into Trapezoid Transform which is a kind of like a, a Quad Transform. So we will cover both Quad Transform and Trapezoid Transform in this lesson. So first of all, let's bring our shape. And then here we have our shape. I will scale it down a little bit and change it to disk so that you can clearly see what's going on. Now, let's bring the normal transform here, which is the transform 2D. And then I will bring the quad transform here. Grayscale, because we are working on the grayscale. So I will plug both to these. Now in the normal transform, what we can do is that we can just move around. Okay. We can scale it down with the shift key or without the shift key. With the shift key, it will be uniform scaling. Without shift key, it will be non-uniform scaling. We can rotate and we can do uh, like stretching or you can say uh, like rotation movement these uh, like sort of different things and from here also you can uh, you know work with it so you can change the filtering as well so this is what you can do with the normal uh, uh, transform 2d so let's go to the quad transform and see how we can work with the quad transform now quad trans transform is like uh, in after effects if you know like th there's perspective uh, like corner pin uh, transformation. So it's something like that. So you have four corner pins and if you move them, this is how you can shape your objects. This is how you can shape it up and use different sort of for like movement here, just like that. But one thing you cannot do here is that you're gonna rotate it. So maybe if you're done with your reshaping, okay, so you can rotate it with the like transformation tool. So you can just move it around like this. Other way around, you can go and like flip the sides. So these kind of things you can do with this. Now let's bring the trapezoid here. So I will just press spacebar and trapezoid transform grayscale. Uh, I'll bring this here. Now in the trapezoid, I don't have any control on the screen, but I do have in, uh, in the parameters here. So I have these values here. Most of the uh, like most of the time, you will be playing with these two values: top stretch and bottom stretch. So if I will uh, use the stop stretch, so you can see only the top part is stretching, and if I will use the bottom stretch, so only the bottom part is stretching. So you can use this to create these sort of shapes and if you don't want uh, the tiling to be uh, to happen over here you can go in the tiling mode and change it to absolute and after that you will choose no tiling so there will be no tiling over here you will have only your object here now one more thing in the Trapezoid you can do is that you will see background color here, which is completely black right now. But if I will start increasing this one, you can see my uh, like uh, frame of the trapezoid scale. So bottom stretch you can see is, uh, is here. Top stretch is all like pointy. So if I will increase or decrease, you can see that too. So maybe just like that, you can have some uh, like results. So maybe in some cases it will help you to create different sort of a uh, like a object, a shape or something like that. So if I turn on the tiling here, okay, and then go with it, so you will see it's not appearing. So it only appears if you have no tiling. Okay. So I hope you have liked this lesson and I'm sure you will be waiting for the next lesson. So I would like to thank you all for all your support and I hope you will continue to support me. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to it yet. 
and I will be posting a lot of new content. So don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can receive the notifications about them. If you have liked my video, so please hit the like button and leave your questions in the comment section below and I will surely answer them. And then I would like to mention that please watch all my videos online and don't download them uh, because I, all my hard work won't pay like this. So please, to support me, always watch my videos online. So thanks once again, everyone. And soon we will meet in the next lesson. Take care of yourself, stay healthy, and keep learning. There's one important announcement I would like to make. I have started three great membership plans on my channel. I have introduced ZDIF Friends membership plan, which will give you exciting perks like loyalty badges and priority on comments. I have also introduced ZDI Early Bird plan, which will give access to Z interactive tutorials way early before they become public. So you will get all these lessons at once and you can binge watch. Them. Last but not the least, I have introduced ZDI Premium plan, which will give access to advanced professional tutorials, which you will find it very, very expensive outside. And I will be giving this at a very low amount of price. So visit my channel now and click on the join membership to get more information. I hope you become one of my members. If you want to learn how to create a highly detailed prop procedurally using Substance Designer, so this premium tutorial series is for you. Join my premium membership plan on YouTube and get access to all premium tutorials. In this tutorial series, I will demonstrate how to use Substance Designer along with simple geometry to create a realistic smashed up retro television.